if you would please, if you have a suggestion, uh, just come up to the podium and we will write. <laughs> All right. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed our little pizza break and team building activity. Uh, next thing on our agenda is we're going to talk about um, service project ideas for Make a Difference Day. Uh, basically, just anything that you think would be really fun to do to help out in the community during that day. Uh, we're just going to brainstorm right now. So if you have an idea, feel free to uh, walk up to one of the podiums and share an idea. And then Ayoma Day will write them down on this little chart over here. Thanks. Anybody want to start off? Some of the things that we've done in the past, for example, like um, cleaning up the Vietnam Memorial or um, cleaning up the Beirut Memorial, anything like that, um, just anything at all. Uh, maybe like roadside cleanups, those are a pretty popular one, <laughs> things of that nature. We've helped with community yard sales as well. So anything you can think of that would benefit the community. Anyone? Don't be shy. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay, thank Here you very much. Here we go, much. Brandon. Woohoo! Participation. <laughs> Participators. What are we talking about? We're talking about I'm thinking maybe a um, school cleanup type, type thing. I'm not really sure exactly. Oh, so like maybe uh, going to like uh, different high schools and like cleaning up around there? Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks. Anybody else? <laughs> oh man, another one. You go. Um, maybe we can clean up the beach. Beach clean up? Oh, that's I a like great one. Beach. And bouncing off of that, I think we could do a new river cleanup as well. Like like canoeing? Oh. New river cleanup? Oh, yeah, like a Wilson Bay cleanup that we do. Like uh, we go out on canoes, we pick up trash on the shoreline. That would be a good one. Do you guys th think you might want to do that? Yeah? Yes. So who all's done that before? Yeah. There you go, see? Hey. And it's been fun, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Experience. I've done it. <laughs> all right, any other suggestions, guys? Guys, bring it back down. Any other suggestions? to clean it up necessarily. Any activity that you think would be beneficial? We can all volunteer it somewhere on the same day. Yeah, like um, if you guys did a Sturgeon City, like uh, the Young Leaders Institute I know did um, uh, volunteer work at Habitat for Humanity Restore, um, even Salvation Army. American Cross. Or American Red Cross? Yeah. yeah. American Red Cross as well. Any suggestions? All right, well, to break the awkward silence, uh, right now what I would like for you guys to do, uh, go ahead and look under your chairs. If you have a red sticker, that means you will be one of our lucky winners. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Winner number one, go ahead and come forward. Okay. No. Check the empty chairs. Hey. There's three of them. Yeah, there should be three stickers. There we go. Sweet. Go ahead and come up, guys. Tell them what they want. All right. So the prizes for being the people in the lucky seats with the red stickers are these books, um, Everyday Leadership, and Success for Teens. It's great. Uh, yes? Um, an, orange one. an orange one? Oh, no, it's probably one that's been left over. But props <laughs> to you. So, you yeah, you can get a high five. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about is elections, um, which I promised that we would talk about earlier on in the, in the meeting. Most of us up here were elected last spring to lead you for this year. However, s some of us were also elected last fall, and um, their term will be ending soon. The point is there are opportunities to be a part of the leadership here. 
Additionally, there is one additional space to be filled for our nine-member executive leadership team, which we will accept nominations for at the November meeting. At the December meeting, we'll likely have an election and fill these positions. And also, here are some opportunities. Well, that is one way to get involved. Other ways to get involved are um, Patriot Day observance on September 11th. Volunteers are needed at 7.30 a.m. to be a part of the program. Um, you should wear a white top, like a white blouse for ladies, a uh, white collared shirt for men, and black bottoms. And if you're interested in doing that, you will come to see me after the meeting and there will be a sign-up sheet for it. And let me interject there that our, if you want to be part of the ceremony, it starts uh, next Wednesday at 8, it's at 8 o'clock in the morning, which as you guys know is a school day. But most of the principals will allow an school, excused absence for it. I just need your name in the school and I will get that handled for you. But I need to know tonight that you would want to attend that. Miss Carmela, that's actually a half day too. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have harmony. Yep. Yes. Yes. And going off of that, also uh, that afternoon will be the first harmony meeting on September 11th as well. Um, another thing that's coming up soon is an ice cream social for uh, Disabilities Awareness Day. It will be held on Saturday, September 14th, and volunteers are requested to help serve ice cream um, for the Onslow Commission for Persons with Disabilities. It will be held at um, the Commons Recreation Complex from 1 to 4 p.m. And if you're interested in that, we also have a sign-up sheet for that um, that will be available to you after the meeting. Uh, the next thing that will be coming up soon is the Beirut Memorial Observance, which will be October 23rd. Uh, volunteers will be needed, uh, to, and the sign-up will be available at next meeting. Next will be Make a Difference Day, which is October 26th. Again, participation is encouraged. We totally understand if you can't. I mean, there's marching band competitions going on. School life is crazy. But any level of participation we can get will really help out the community. Next thing that will be happening is the annual holiday parade on November 16th. Uh, we'll be forming a committee to work on decorating our float at the next meeting, so just keep your eyes and ears open for it. And then Elizabeth Nellen will talk about other opportunities. Okay, some other opportunities we have for Onzo County teenagers aged 14 to 19 would be Harmony. In this project, youth-led groups are able to apply for funding and assistance to create youth-directed projects that address community issues and challenges in this region. What is really unique about this project is that there is a board of students with few adults who make decisions about which youth groups get money and for their ideas to turn positive ideas for action into real solutions. See me after this meeting for an application to be a part of Harmony Board. The first meeting is September 11th, which is next Wednesday. And please direct your attention to the screens on the left or right for a video about Harmony. It may take a few seconds. Bear with us. So. All right. All right. So we are having. Yeah. So that was uh, for all of you who don't know. That was Mr. Um, Alan Covey over there. He's a really great guy. He does most of all of um, our video things for us here, and is part of the tech crew. He's really great. So yeah, just stand by for some technical difficulties right now. <laughs> oh, and White Oak. How can I forget White Oak?
Harmony is a philanthropy organization that focuses on empowering youth. It really helps the youth. It's not just like a program where you just come out and watch movies, and it's actually beneficial to their life. And the Harmony Group is a way for me to try to give back to my community um, with my time. To, 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 to see the culmination of these young folks paying it forward because somebody had done something for them and they was like, okay, great, we got some money. Who can we help? How can we help? How can we create an impact and how can we affect some change here in our community? It's not just about leadership. It's not just about who's got the longest resume or who's had to, done the most after school activities or sports. But what I love to see about this is young people, just like that one that maybe you passed by on the street a little bit earlier today, that person that you saw going to their school, this is the real, real story of young people who've said, you know what, I want to be able to make a change about this. Philanthropy, they've given their time. It took them eight months to get to this day. They gave their talents because nobody knows young people like our young people. They're the experts. My name is Tony Brennis and I'm a member of Harmony. And what we do is we're an organization made up of youth from all over the county. So our organization raises funds and then we create a board and we have people um, apply to us with grant applications and then we try to fulfill those grants with the funds that we've raised. That way we really um, disperse things evenly throughout the community and address those issues not only in one location but throughout the local area. I'm Amber Johnson. I'm a member of Jacksonville Youth Council and Harmony. Harmony is important to me because it helps people and for people who don't have the money to help others, it gives them that chance to. I'm a member of Harmony. I've been with them for the uh, first two years. Harmony is important to me because I believe it offers a good opportunity for youth as well as adults and people in the community to do something good and also a chance for us youth to come here and learn about philanthropy and donating and the whole process of it. We're teaching them at a very early age what it means to be an active member of their community, what it really takes to solve problems, and how complex those problems can be. And these people came together and actually made up beats, songs, and uh, it was a good lesson on diversity. So diversity, harmony, how you create change, even with things you're not comfortable with. Well, great lessons for us all, don't you agree? Yeah. These guys earned your $500. Our best presenters in the state. $500. And community parents, and this year we had over $2,000. All of them have to be youth led with an adult uh, supervisor, and the groups basically are things that we would like to get involved in ourselves in the community that are good overall. So tonight is about four different groups that Harmony, these collection of young people in Jacksonville, have decided are going to be awarded the grant funds that have been entrusted to them by the community foundation, by the different boards, and by community donors as well. We are um, awarding grants, community grants, um, of around $2,000 to um, youth-led projects within the community. Um, these are projects that the members of Harmony, all high school students, saw fit um, as being things that would make a positive change in this community. I applied for a grant so that I could pretty much make these kinds of fleece blankets and donate them to the Child Advocacy Center. Honor Guard, Color Guard, of youth in the deprived areas, at risk youth from the schools. I would like to present the NAFVETS with a check for $500. Gentlemen, if you'll step forward a little bit, please. Step forward a little bit. Step a little bit closer to the stage. Just a dynamic group of kids here in Onslow County um, and being able to send out grants, uh, give, be grant makers mm -hmm. for some awesome projects uh, between Southwest High School and the church and the, the NAB vets. Harmony is just a bunch of great folks making awesome changes here in Ons Onslow County. I enjoy seeing the kids um, being introduced to tough issues and being able to tackle those issues from their perspective. It helps me understand that there are other people that have a need, and even though I may not be in that situation, I may be later on in life. So I think it's about looking out for your fellow man and um, just making sure that 
the community as a whole thinks about everyone. None of this would have been possible without the generous support of the Caring Communities Foundation, who provided much of the funds awarded by the youth and the companies associated with Johnny Stevenson who helped provide the leadership for this project. Okie dokie. <laughs> So again, see me after the meeting for an application to be a part of the Harmony Board. And the first meeting is next Wednesday, which is a half day on September 11th. The meeting starts at 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. So our last special opportunity. In the past year, some of us have participated in the G10 cadre, and we helped to tell the story of the Youth Council. We recorded events such as Make a Difference Day, the National Day of Service, and the the work some of you did at the youth center. Previously, we also went out to football games and got some answers to 10 questions we asked. Some people were also involved in the Young Filmmakers Institute this summer. And the G10 folk are willing to continue the type of work of telling your stories in video. We'll show some of the Institute videos after the meeting, but anyone can see them on YouTube at any time. Just type in SC Filmmakers to see the videos they created. If you are interested in this type of activity, tell Carmela and she'll make sure Phil Mozilak gets your name. And now. to add to that for just a minute, if any of you are interested in getting into media or broadcasting or journalism, it's a wonderful opportunity to learn how TV works, how things show up on G10, how they put that together. They'll sit down with you and teach you all that and let you help and do some video yourself and will actually play on G10. So if you, any of you are interested in that, please come see me after the meeting. All right. At this time, the floor is now open for public comments and announcements. Um, if you have anything to announce, please step up to the podium um, and feel free to say anything that would benefit Jacksonville Youth Council or that members might be interested in. They could be things such as, you know, um, new ideas for Jacksonville Youth Council to undertake, a community event, or an activity ex especially for students, or a volunteer scholarship opportunity that would interest <laughs> the group. Feel free to come up and share with us. We really appreciate anything that you guys have to say. We really enjoy being involved and kept up to date with what's going on. Anybody? Um, I would like to add to the poster. I thought of something. We could help out at Relay for Life, maybe. That's a really great idea. Thanks. We'll be sure to write that down. Okay. Anything else? I'll just let you guys know, I don't know if every school has a football game on Friday, but I know that there's a Northside Jacksonville varsity football game going on at Northside um, at 7 p.m. So if you guys are interested about that. Um, is there any other, are there any other football games that will be going on? Yes. All right, so there's a Swansboro game tomorrow. We're at? At 7? All right, so there's a Swansboro game tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night at 7. Do you know who you're playing against? No. All right, well, there is one. Yes? There's a Ohio game tomorrow. I believe it is seven. So, so there's a White Oak game against uh, Topsail that'll be held at White Oak at seven. Awesome. Uh, yes. There's a Southwest game against Rich Richlands tomorrow at seven. So, <laughs> game against Richlands at seven. Uh, do you know what where that will be played at? Yeah. Richlands. At Richlands. Awesome. Richlands. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. So there's a Dixon game going to be held against Princeton, you said? And there'll also be a 50-50 raffle. That's awesome. What for? Do you know? Uh, for project graduation. For project grad. Oh, that's an awesome project. Is there anything else? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> we appreciate your school spirit. And I also believe uh, First Friday will be held tomorrow as well. We'll start back after football season in uh, January. Oh, okay. Well, First Fridays will start after football season. Um, they're usually held at the Youth Center on the first Friday of every month. Um, and I think they start at 6 p.m.? Yes. Yeah, they start at 6, 6 p.m. to 10 or 11. And the Youth Center is open for um, you guys can come hang out. We have video games, movies sometimes, game night, um, that type of thing. Sometimes we plan activities for Youth Council. 
just depends on what's on the calendar. Yes, and also a lot of youth council meetings will also be held at the youth center. Um, first meeting of the year is usually held here uh, just because it is the first one, but we have a lot of really fun themed meetings planned for you guys in the future. Um, Ryan, if I may. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a casting call for a haunted trail if you guys would like to get any volunteer hours in or if you guys would just like to be part of the cast. It is this Friday, um, or I mean, yeah, Saturday. Sorry, guys. It's Saturday. Um, I couldn't tell you what time, though. 10 to 12. 12? 10 to 2. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. Mm -hmm. All right, 10 to 2. Um, they're looking for, like, zombies and, um, let's see, uh, the, the guide people, gores. All right, so else. you don't actually have to be an actor. You can be a good public speaker just to, like, tour people around. I was a jack-in-the-box last year. So. This was mine. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's this Saturday, so if you guys want to, oh, and it's being sponsored by the Onslow Women's Center. So, you get SAT hours for it, yeah. and they're easy SAT hours, they feed you. Oh, yeah, they feed you. It's great. So yeah, that sounds like definitely, guys, definitely sounds like a great opportunity for um, volunteering and helping out in the communities, and it sounds like a lot of fun, too. So Robert makes a good point is that a lot of the activities we do with volunteer events and things like that we do with youth council are worth SAT hours and I will get have the forms for those at the specific events. Um, but I also want to go back to Harmony for a minute um, because we, we uh, Harmony goes each year to a youth summit. I believe this year we're going to uh, Greensboro in November. But to attend that youth summit you have to attend the first two meetings. Um, after that it's really closed for additional members. So just make sure that if you want to join Harmony, you do come to the meeting on the 11th, or if you can't make it on the 11th, just let me know. Yes. Hi, I'm Cece. Um, last year I was in Harmony, and the Youth Summit was actually really fun. I learned a lot, and this year it should be fun, too. Thanks, Cece. Like she said, it, it, it's always a great time. Everyone that goes has, like, the best time. So we really encourage you guys to come out. Again, that Harmony meeting, once again, will be on September 11th on that half day. And if there are no other public comments, then listed in your agenda are the next meetings. Our next meeting will be held October 3rd. And um, we also have the special sheets for you to sign up for um, things on your way out to remember the dates. And um, also we have the extra date sheets if you want to pass out to any of your friends that could not be here tonight. And if you do have any ideas, please talk with us. Um, all the officers will be wearing these t-shirts, these blue polos right here, and we're also wearing our name tags. Please feel free to talk to us about anything youth council related or just you know any ways that you might um, want to get involved or any ideas that you have. We really love talking with you guys. And if you want to run for an office, talk with us even more. Um, remember, we will have an election for our open seats at our third meeting and another coming up in spring. In the future, our meetings will usually last no longer than uh, 90 minutes, and we always meet at City Hall or Youth Center. Thanks, everyone, for coming, and for those who have been watching at home, I now declare our meeting adjourned. Thank you very much. Where's Bolivia? I'm so bored. Wanna play catch? It's too hot outside. This is terrible. I know, we really need to find something to do. But there's nothing to do in Jacksonville. Jacksonville Youth Council is a great opportunity for all youth in the city and the county. Jacksonville Youth Council is just plain fun. At the Jacksonville Youth Center, we have events like First Friday, Summer Trip, 
and spring break events, and it gives you a chance to meet students from all over the county and all kinds of new people. Jacksonville Youth Council is serving the community. There are a lot of service projects and a lot of community involvement. It can help you gain a lot of SAT hours, like National Day of Service and Festival of Trees. Jacksonville Youth Council is helping you prepare for your future. It looks good on a college application, it builds your resume, you make professional connections with people, and you get a lot of volunteer hours, and it's fun. The Jacksonville Youth Council is youth empowerment. It gives the youth a voice in the community, and it is for the youth and by the youth. Warning. Side effects of Jacksonville Youth Council include, but are not limited to, excessive fun, getting into your dream college, tons of new friends, and an overall fulfilling life. Jacksonville Youth Council is serving the community, youth empowerment, future readiness, and just plain fun. So don't be bored. Join us. Jacksonville, Jacksonville Youth, youth Council. Council. So that was a video that we uh, made over the summer with the help of our lovely friends and the people up here on the board. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, um, come sign up for anything that you might be interested in and have a great evening.